So we'll, we'll start the session. Right, uh, you may receive uh, the circular regarding your exam registrations. So follow as per your uh, tutor suggestions. Okay. Uh, for term and examinations, uh, you will be having 60 marks question as I already said. So next uh, by Saturday and next week Monday Tuesday I will share the sum of the questions that is through uh, screen. Okay, I will not share through mail. I will show on the screen with the answers. Kindly note down. Okay, it may come or may not. But as per the suggestion from the HOD, they are requested to take. Uh, they request you to share the questions or topics which are is important for the examination. Okay, so we'll start with the continuation of uh, first unit revision. Then last class we have started with the computer. Today we'll continue with the second chapter in unit one. So what generally the computer that you know it is an input device. It consists of output device, uh, virtual uh, reality, physical interaction, papers, memory, and processing. So other than that, the interaction, somebody please. Okay. Generally, we will be having interaction by seeing your computer through your hands and uh, hand, through your finger, you will be interacting by either mouse or a keyboard. But generally, this interaction is based upon an eye. So by observing the information on the screen, your uh, fingers, everything, it will work towards them uh, in mouse and keyboard. So this is like a sensor that what we are seeing, it is like a sensor, it is, you are seeing and then you are working on it. Okay. Then these are all the th uh, typical uh, computer hardware and hardware part. Uh, so why you need to spend much on uh, the system is like uh, when the user feels some information that he is uh, attending from the screen or from a particular web page, then only the user will, will, he will be spending. So based upon the interest of the user, the user start using the mobiles or the phone, it, which makes them to feel somewhat uh, something like comfortable with their environment and whatever the work nature they feel with the system, they will be using it for a longer term. So there are different ways of systems that you are using in uh, homes that you will be using PCs, uh, TV, VCR, DVD, Wi-Fi, satellite uh, TVs, microwave cookers, all these are, or internally, all these are like communicated device. So based upon your interaction, in, uh, in, uh, uh, input operations, it will be working. So likewise, you can have some of the uh, uh, handheld device that, you, that is in your packet, PDA, phones, camera, camera, smartphones, magnetic strips and uh, electronic car keys and usb these are all it will get input from you and then it will be working on you so its main all thing is all are interactive so what will happen is much interactive is whenever the sensor for example you may not spend much time in your uh, laptops instead of that you will be spending more much time in your uh, mobile because it have it have a touch screen it it will whatever the operation you are performing immediately you will get a uh, reaction on it so sensors and many other devices helps you a lot in interaction apart. So there are different ways are there to uh, enter the text into the computers. So, uh, uh, so by having a keyboard, by having a keyboard, how the keyboard has formed on what basis they are giving a different types of keyboard. So keyboards are like the names the names that whatever uh, the letters whatever there in the keyboard based upon that only that name has been uh, preferred so this is if you're seeing your keyboard you will be having uh, q w e r t y it is in a sequential if you're seeing tab in your keyboard if you q w e r t will be a sequential uh, representation you will be having in it so ba uh, based upon that they are kept the name so uh, it, it mainly kept because uh, the preference of the user who were virtually impaired. So they can able to easily identify the sequence. 
so by keeping that as a common and uh, and keeping the linearity in a typing so they they kept they kept this uh, order they kept this in an order so we'll see one by one what are the different types of it so keyboard mainly um, more most common text input devices which is rapidly allowed to enter the text uh, uh, text to experience the user so this is an example for uh, q e r t y why the name q e r t y used so the this sequence they are used it as a keyboard so there are different alternative keyboards are there you may not uh, view this keyboard this key these types of keyboard it will be in alphabetic order if you are seeing in your mobile if you are seeing in your mobile initially the keypad will be like a b c okay three letters you can type in a single uh, keypad a key button a b c then e f g so uh, like like this you will be having a different set of keyboards where there then you have uh, work orac dorac keyboard which is same like in it but it will have some improvement speed when compared to qtr but what happen is uh, the most of the organization had tie up initially with q w e t r so that's why most of all the computers or laptops everything they will be following a same standard in it so this is a special type of keyboard for a left hand user so they will be using uh, their left hand to type most of the information instead of right hand then card keyboard is like you, you have it is like a mouse okay you have a four, by using your five fingers you can able to interact okay to you can able to type even you can instead of uh, having complete keyboard you have a certain strategy that you have to follow one uh, four one key is used for four to five character five letters by combination of different key press you will be having idea so these types of uh, keyboards may not be completely used for uh, typing a text it will be used for some other purpose with the combinations of text it's little combination of text then you know this is the keypad it it is it has an it, it will be in alphabetic order a b c d e f each key has a next is handwriting recognition ha text can be input into the in into the computer using a pen on and a digitizing a tablet so you will be having a natural interaction capturing all the useful information like stroke path pressure and many uh, segments will be there in using it next the system it will be recognized in a speech recognition you can able to recognize the speech uh like single user you can interact and external noise interfering next is like numeric numeric keypad so numeric keypad is it, it will be in a different form so calculator it will be in a different form or telephone if you are see a telephone it will be in this form or if you are taking a calculator it will be in an another form so for entering the number numbers quickly we will be using it because uh, whenever the calculation you are using you will be 
uh, using in a different order when four you will be using in different order because four it will be start with higher order number like nine eight or seven uh, a seven or six higher order it will start but in case of uh, uh, calculation generally it will start from lower order sometimes it will be it will be going but it depends upon so like uh, positioning pointing and drawing devices also there uh, to uh, give the input to the system like mouse touch pad track balls joystick touch screen tablet eye gazes and cutters so these are all uh, all called as a pointing positioning and drawing devices the mouse is like hand held pointing devices that you will be using the with the different buttons so one is you will be using a mouse and uh, even you have a mouse with a foot mouse is there then you have a touch pad then you have a track ball then you have a thumb wheel so all these are all giving an input joystick so you'll be providing an uh, direct or indirect input by uh, uh, providing uh, moves with the buttons or a stick okay you'll be having a navigation stick that you can able to move across it then touch and sensitive screen so which reduces the presence of your finger or a stylish on a screen that uh, you, even we you are doing regularly in your mobile then stylish pen you will be having like a tooth stick in your mobile you can write the write Uh, uh the information by using your tooth stick on a screen so you will be using with the mobile tablets even you are having a pc then if you want to if you are using a uh, light pen you can able to use a right pen, light pen but nowadays we are not using light pen they will be using it so it, it is like a same pen you can draw anything on your screen uh, it reflects based upon a light that's why we are calling it as a light Uh, but uh, be before uh, touch screen and all you have a light pen a where the reflection it will uh, reflection on the screen it will be uh, provided on the board so then digitalizing digital uh, digitalizing tablet you have a mobile like devices with the cross hair so where by using stylus pen you can write and you can draw it eye glaze by using your eye movements you can Um, uh, move the mouse pointer. So, for example, by using your eyeballs, so wherever uh, the eyeballs uh, you are moving, based upon that, the arrow marks it will be moved across the screen. That is also there. Then you know different types of uh, cut cut circuit. So there are variety of cut circuit. T based cut circuit, or the square based cut circuit, uh, sequential cut circuit you are having. So it's all or depends. For example. Uh, Uh, this you will be using for some purpose. This you will be using. Okay, if you are seeing this, you will be using it for a laptop, and this you will be using it for uh, your uh, audio player or video player to move. So these types of you will be having in your mobile at initially. Okay, so there are different ways or uh, different ways it will sh show to play the games or in you know, a general information. Then you have a uh, positioning controls. You will be using in a remote phones, okay, in display devices. So there are different types of display devices: CRT and LCD. So uh, cathode ray tube, liquid crystal display. Both it helps you to uh, display the information on a screen. So screen is a vast number of color dot. We will be having individual pixels. The individual pixels here we will be having individual pixels are there. So if you are zooming, you can able to see this individual pixels. Next is resolution. So resolution is one of the important uh, parameter in uh, screen screen. So aspect ratio is very important. There is a depth and height of the screen. How much pixel a uh, depth, the de density of the pixels you are providing on a screen. So this helps you to. Uh, view the images or a text in a very clear way. There are different ways of color uh, combinations that you can do with the uh, screen or as, uh, with the pixels. So there, there are there are two fifty six from palette into n number of colors into eight bit of colors. So it leads to millions of colors. There is combination of two fifty six colors into eight uh, bit of pixels. 
So where by the combination of these two faces, you will be having millions of colors in a palette. You can use that colors. So if you are uh, doing za j jagging or anti-aliasing, you, you will get the pixel coverage, individual pixel coverage. So generally when you are jagging or when you are zooming a single line uh, into uh, 200 or 300 zoom percentage, you can see that the line, it will be filled with the dots. So these dots are like a squares. So okay, you can see that there are a lot of discontinuity between the each line. But when you are seeing in a normal uh, normal uh, screen resolutions, you can able to view it is a straight line. But when you are trying to zoom, it looks like a individual pixels has filled with the discontinuity. Okay. So next is anti anti aliasing. So if there is a sharp edge, if there is a sharp edge, if we, if that sharp edge, if you want to make it as a softened edge, then it is called as anti aliasing. So softened edge by using the shade of a line. If you are having a softened edge, then it will be called as an anti aliasing. Jagging is to view the lines or vertical or horizontal lines in a discontinuity part. Then you know how the cathode ray tube is working. You have studied from your uh, school in, in this art schooling level. So you'll be having electron gun. Electron gun passes the beam, passes the light to the electronic beam where it will fall on magnetic field and it will reflect because it is coated with the phosphorus on a screen. So where it will glow, you can able to see it on the screen. So these are all some basic concepts. Then you may aware of it liquid crystal display. You will, it will be very smaller and lighter, and you don't have any radiation problem in it. So it will, it will, uh, it will also display based upon the pixels. But these pixels are in a form of a crystal parameters. Then you have a random scan. Then you have a direct view storage tube in it. Then large displays. Uh, in large displays, if we are seeing nowadays, uh, they are using a plasma TV and then uh, a wall embedded TV projectors and uh, back projectors. So different variety of uh, projectors are there to view large set of displays. Then to, uh, situated displays. So in public places, you can see the LCD or LED TVs where they will be publicly displayed for any type of advertisements. So, and then in uh, in some cases that you will be having snacks vending machines, uh, automatic uh, seed vending machines, automatic uh, uh, food vending, some food vending machines will be there. So, these are all like interactions. It will be, if you are paying a money, it will get interact. Um, so, it will, it will, it will do interaction, it will do interactions. So, in all the cases, the location uh, does matters where you are using that interaction and location. Then you will have small display beside uh, the uh, doors. So even you can pick some of the devices in a screens and hand items. Then you have a digital papers. So this digital paper water to uh, water to lose. It is a flexible sheet uh, with the updated electronic. Uh, where the different display, different way of a display can be uh, performed on it. So you can see the different. So you can, by using a single two or three objects, you can provide different uh, controversy, different uh, uh, combination of images on it. Where you can use in a screen by having two different colors, by filling an object slowly or completely empty like that. You can show the variety of changes on the screen. Next is like virtual reality and 3D interactions. So this is also, it will be allowed in your uh, uh, interactions. So where you have a different devices of virtual reality. So to provide the uh, dimensions. So generally where, when you need a uh, virtual reality, if you are going behind a 3D, if you are going to going beyond a 3D, 3D space or 3D uh, image representation, then you will be going. So you'll be having 3D mouse, you'll be having 3D data gloves, you'll be having VR, virtual reality helmets, and whole body tracking systems by using it. So this is the three different uh, representations of uh, images, image in a uh, 3D, that is pitch, yaw, roll. So instead of using X, Y, Z, dial, Z, so here, 
in HEA or in the representation of uh, 3D display, we will be using pitch, yaw, and roll. Okay. So nowadays, in most of the advanced technology companies, they started using 3D display. So most of all the uh, uh, platforms they are working or web design they are working, they started designing or implementing the 3D display in desktop itself. So where they will be replacing ordinary screen and usage of mouse, keyboards, control, everything, the control it will be done by your 3D effect. Seeing this 3D effect, uh, the uh, stereoscopic visions, VR helmets, screen flush, shutter space are utilized effectively. So VR headset like small TV screens for each eye, slightly different angles, 3D effect. So we are motion sickness, like time delay. If you are moving your head automatically, the changes it will appear on the screen, lagging, uh, some eye movements, depth perceptions. So all these are, you can observe by using your VR motions. So you can create a projected screen across the wall in your room, and then you will feel that you are in a particular environment based upon a 3D view. So you will have some real control uh, on the environments. You will feel that you will be like, so if you're seeing some for uh, two years back, you will be having quantum core TV. So curved TV you had. So the curved TV, it looks like you, uh, it will cover entirely. It will cover you when you're sitting here, uh, sitting you at a closer end. So it will feel that uh, the complete end you are in a complete environment. So it will try to cover the whole room or a whole environment that you belong to. That is called as a real control. So then you have a different physical uh, control sensors like displaying uh, sounds, gadgets, uh, touch, feel, smell, physical control sensors that you they will be using in a different devices. Like uh, you may have a, as a human, you may aware of it. Like uh, whenever you are uh, hear some beep sound, blong, clonk sound, whistle or something, you may you you may you know that some warning symbols, some warning symbols, uh, each and every sound represents some warning symbols. Okay. Then touch feels. So touch feel and uh, smell and all. When you will feel this? When you are. Uh, trying to completely involve in playing a game okay when you started playing game you can feel that you are in a real environment so you may not be available you are you, you are not entering into it but when you are playing a game the game creates you like that okay game the gaming environment make you to feel that you are you are in a real environment then BMW iDrive cars, where you have a small bump for each item, so you will feel that uh, that any vibration or any impressions that what song you are playing, you will be having it. Then you are having uh, physical control over uh, uh, washing machines, iPo iPad, then microwave, so all you will be having these types. So then in the environment also, you are using different types of devices. Then in a paper, if you want an output device, if you want uh, as an output device, you can use a printing or a scanning. So printing, normally it will print based upon a dot. So you will have a dot matrix printer initially, then only you will be having laser jet printer. So print information in a sequence. Then you have a different fonts that will be supported by the printers. So uh, initially it is, it, will, it is like the printer will support only a common format. So whatever the format you are typing, all it will be printed in a same, like a typewriter. So now after the development, only the printer it supports all different types of fonts. So, uh, the important thing in the font is like uh, pitches and uh, pitches. The pitches is like like there will be fixed pitches that every character has a same width. 
okay initially but later stages uh, the variable pitch has been arised where you can uh, have a different okay so all the text are initially it will be having same fix here you can see but later the sharp edges uh, flattening lines all started to combine with the text so then uh, whenever you are using the different text or a font style make it as a readability make that text in a readable format and it should uh, uh, the user should feel that uh, if they are printing that in a paper they will feel comfortable to read the information and then shapes that we are mentioning for a particular text also should be very clear next uh, page description language so use a uh, different font size different bitmaps lines or uh, digitalized photo when you are preparing your web page so w yes w y s i y g so this is like what you see is what you get so uh, when uh, when you are creating or when you are developing a web page what you are see it will you will be get when you are designing when you are uh, develop after developing so be careful be very uh, precious when you are doing when you are uh, choosing the font when you are choosing the color when you are choosing the background color when you are choosing the image or when how you are fixing that uh, into a web page so the layouts the what different type of, how the layouts you are managing so all these are very very important in a screen and pages then you have a scanner take a paper and convert into in the bitmap so you can use these in an effective way so desktops and then you have ocr that is the optical character organization for uh, recognizing a text in a different templates then paper based interactions you are having so you can use different type of interactions uh, in ocr then memory memory is a uh, most important in a both the system as well as in a uh, printing part so there are different types of memory short term memory and long term memory it has a properties like speed capacity compression format and axis short term memory is like your uh, ram uh, it will be on on silicon chip and it has a 100 nanosecond access time so it will be very fast usually it will volatile that is it lost information when your power power turn off or some if you are switching off the system or restarting the system and it has data transfer rate at around 1000 sorry 100 megabytes per second so ram is generally you uh, used for accessing it will be used for accessing the information or we are calling it as a primary memory and there are some non volatile ram used for storing some basic setting like boot programs okay so long term memory is like your uh, hard disk so there is a no floppy disk and hard disk optical disk hard drive all these then mainly these ram and hard disk uh, having certain parameters or uh, uh, certain uh, compulsions that should be available in all these like speed and its capacity so speed is very very important and it should be reliable then in case if the ram is uh, size is small so how it how it can able to manage the long uh, higher memory it is based upon a virtual memory concept it will be temporarily bring the source program into ram from the disk and then it will
it got disconnected 